Hi everybody, we're about to get started. We're just waiting for the previous show to wrap up and then we'll be with you guys live. I will see you soon. Did you unbox last week? Yes. But until then, enjoy the discourse. Mm-hmm. Bye, T-Bird. Mm-hmm. Let's see if I see this. Do you see it yet? Oh, yeah. We're about to go live. <laughs> Yes, it's there. Episode nine. Nine. I said two minutes. Okay. I'm posting. Okay, so we're ready. Once the song ends, we can... We can play our song. Yeah, I think probably go right into our song and then and then come into this book. Work it out the logistics, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You can start that actually, because he wasn't on video. And I can start that? Yeah, I think so. It'll just be his music. You just name it for us, that's for like when we're here. That's for like episode three. Is that the yeah. music? Yep. Yeah. Oh, did you press the song, the music in it over here? So press that, and then we have to go live. We have to play the music. Weird actually that it just cut out. His music cut out somehow. I don't know, maybe because it was six o'clock. Maybe. Well, if it's early, let it play. Maybe the music is not being heard. So um, we uh, we started with Nina Kravitz, by the way, and the tune is called "Walking in the Night." Uh, if you want to listen to it, like we said previously, um, go to www.barcelonacityfm.com, and you will be able to also listen to us, um, watch us live, and listen to the videos. I don't know, actually, can they watch us live? Yeah, yeah. On the on the on the website. Yeah, Barcelona yeah. CFM. Yeah, we're I get confused. You know, there's, there's too a lot many going on. social media platforms. So, <laughs> Jesus, oh. it's like, who? <laughs> Turn the aircon on. <laughs> I'm just sharing right now, so um, we'll be back in a moment. Why didn't it show up in my timeline? It wasn't. Oh, now it's on the timeline, okay. And you didn't look at how long the song is. Cool. Can you? Is it on there? What? Oh, I hear the music here. I'm hearing it here. You still hearing that? Just hearing here. Here and there. Or oh, there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, no. You sure this is not on? No. The Barcelona no. City Family website. Oh, it's this maybe. Really? Yeah. Well, okay, well, it's too long. I don't think we can yeah. hear it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we're 
Yeah, it's that for sure. But maybe this can be lower. This I can do. Uh, be careful. No, it's okay. Yeah, now I'm just hearing this. Okay. It's just me. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. little entry song. Barcelona City FM, welcome to Zest for Life Barcelona on 107.3 FM. Hi guys. We're feeling zesty today, excited to be with you. We're feeling very zesty today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Zesty or a bit confused because like all oh, this yeah. technical stuff today. Yeah, it's our third show, so we're still working out some of the technical details, but it's, and it's great to be with you no, guys. No, but like, you know, I'd like to watch the, 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 the film live afterwards. Yeah. You know, because we're all the time with the headphones I looking know. left and right, you know. Where do you hear it? Where do you hear the music? Where is it coming from? It's a mixture of looking <laughs> professional and unprofessional at the same time. I think so. <laughs> anyway, ah. buenos dias. <laughs> buenos dias, buenas tardes. Hey, base loca. <laughs> <laughs> So oh. what's new and good? Well, there's a lot that's new and good, Dustin. So I've been, you know, yeah, I've been, that. yeah, I've been, um, let's see, what's been going on this week? What can I share with you? Well, the thing, I think the most exciting thing for me is that I'm, I think I'm in the middle of kind of dreaming up a new style of coaching. I've been coaching for many years and I'm coming up with this new kind of group based coaching and mm. there's more to, more to come on a future episode. I'll tell you more about once I've got that clear, but my friend and I, Vincent, uh, he's a new coach and he and I are starting to collaborate together in some way to bring coaching to more people in the world. That's excellent. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited Amazing. about that. Yay. Yeah, and I'm feeling really healthy and happy. I'm excited I'm going to start um, pretty soon getting ready to go to New York for a month. Um, that's going to be cool. But been, you, you're going to leave me in the studio alone? Yeah, we're, we're trying to figure out a way that I'm going to be able to also be on the show but not be here physically in Barcelona. Well, you can't be everywhere at the same time. These Geminis, you know, she's never learned. You know, she's, I'm, I'm, I'm. she's talking to herself. <laughs> yeah, so that's what's been going I did my 44 uh, sun salutations this morning, which were fantastic. I'm enjoying doing the sun salutations every week before the show. It's really empowering. Well, uh, very good. Yeah. Very good, yeah. What's new and good for you? Well, um, mm. I've been bad. Mm. Yes, I've oh, yeah, been we're going to be talking about being <laughs> bad a little later in the show. I've been really bad, but I'll talk about that okay, later. Okay, cool. But... Um, Fourth week in a row with um, high intensity interval training. Oh, hit training, yeah. Hit, hit training. or hit, it's you a gotta double. Hit it, baby. Yeah, it's yeah. summertime, nice. you know, it's bikini beach body. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm loving it. I mean, nice. I love training. I'm really, well, extremely grateful that my back is almost fully recovered. Yeah. I feel so good about that. That could be a whole other topic for another show we could talk about. For sure, for back, sure, yeah. for sure. Um, I got my birthday present, got, uh, received a birthday present mm. in my new running shoes. So okay. I'm definitely considering going back into it slowly. Yeah, you know, yeah, we'll fantastic. See. Yeah. Um, what else has been new and good? I don't know. Um, kind of staying focused, you know, I need to bring my business up to speed, yeah. you know, and looking into new ventures and new collaborations yeah. and, uh, the sun is shining, so... It's all good. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was I forgot to mention my new and good about I go I go to a, a new beach every week and I went to um, Badalona. You've been you said you've been to Badalona. Yeah, before. I love Badalona. I quite often um, cycle to Badalona and uh, because I, it, the water is yeah. much nicer, it's cleaner, it's less too quieter. Yeah. You can get there on the metro. You don't even need to take the bicing if you're here in Barcelona. Don't tell everybody. It's supposed I to know. be a secret. Well, place. it's no longer a secret if it was. <laughs> <laughs> you can even you can see the park forum from Badalona. You can actually see it still there. Yeah, definitely. Um, the little beaches that are down, you know, down or up the coast are much better than you know any other beach that you know. That, yeah. Uh, 
we we know and that we um, we go in the center because they tend to be quite you know um, touristy touristy yeah. and more polluted yeah. you know so it's always good to experience something outside of that I, I've got an yeah. agreement this summer every week I'm going to a new beach nice yeah. you know? not nude new <laughs> <laughs> all right okay are you sure about that I'm sure about that. <laughs> It's starting to come together, folks. We're starting to roll it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right, have to watch the comments on here, so in case people are commenting. Okay, let's go see. Okay, so the next conversation. Okay, I'm gonna do a jingle in the middle. Of okay, cool. Good. Wait a second. We got a professional in her hand. That was like during the song she did a jingle. That was fantastic. Really good. Now I've got I've got to improve my game yeah. next week. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Training time, baby. Wow. Training time. Nice. <laughs> That's great. I should monitor this now. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna do it again. I'm getting into this. Let's do it. I'm loving it. I knew I should have been a DJ a long time ago. I'm telling you. <laughs> Oh, people are sharing the live stream. Fantastic. This song is so cool. It's good. And the video streaming is looking good? Yeah. Uh, okay, good. Great. So I lead the conversation about effective alcohol. So I'll just I'll start off with saying something about what I noticed the past couple of days. And yeah, yeah, okay. oh, I've been oh. drinking three days in a row. Okay, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we have to demonstrate our conversation, so it makes sense. Just give me a, like a 30 second warning so I know yeah, what it's yeah. going to be. I'm gonna start anyway before to say welcome. Okay, of course, of course. Barcelona City FM 107.3 FM. Welcome back to Zest for Life, Barcelona. Zesty, zesty, zesty. So speaking of zest, we're going to talk about what t what happens when you get a little too zesty sometimes. You know, and I, what I've noticed, Vess and I were talking off the air yesterday. Maybe we were just both acknowledging that. You no, know, obviously we're both health coaches and trained in this kind of thing. And also, you know, sometimes we don't do exactly the 100% most healthy possible thing in every moment. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we just want to kind of acknowledge that, that sometimes it's okay to be bad, and being bad is actually good for you when you choose it, you know? So she's, got a, she's got a microphone issue. It's a little bit of a flabby microphone. I don't know. What's going on, you know? I don't know. I it's don't do flabby things. The, mi <laughs> the microphone is not behaving yeah. very well. Come right on, now. man. <laughs> We're going to work on it on the next music, yeah. <laughs> next music break. Yeah, I don't like, you know, I want freedom with my hands. I don't want to. I understand. Yeah, we're going to work. Let's work on it on the next, uh, okay. on the next music break. So, me. so yeah, so I, I was saying that for me, you know, I was, and we'll talk about this later, I, that the, I've been on a sugar detox mostly. So I haven't been having a lot of alcohol, but then the last few days I have actually been drinking some alcohol. And, but it's been my choice. Matthew. Like I did, yeah. Matthew. Well, yesterday was July 4th, so that's Independence Day for us Happy Americans. Independence Day, United Thank States you. of America. Ooh, America. The country yeah. where dreams come true. That's also true. I wore my Superman <laughs> shirt for, for that today. Um, so, yeah, so I, I had a beer last night. I had the night before. I had some wine with a good friend that was in town visiting before we went on a cruise. So, yeah, I, but I, I chose that. I knew I was going to do that for two. But I did notice that I'm super sensitive to alcohol mm -hmm. now. Like, I really have gotten very sensitive to it. So, but you said you've been being a bit bad as well. Really bad. Yeah. Three days in a row. 
three days she's had alcohol. Yes. Yeah, I mean... Wine and vermouth. Yeah. And the thing is, as an American coming to Europe, I mean, in Europe there's this, there's a, a more refined relationship, I feel, with alcohol. And it's a good example of how... I think that's a good example of, you know, it's not so... It's, it's good to be bad in that people incorporate it into their daily living in the States. We can't drink technically, until we're 21, so, but That's everyone... That's why you do, all have fake IDs. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> we have this really messed up, I think, relationship with alcohol, where it becomes this kind of binge and then not drink, and, or, you know, this kind of thing. And so, of course, there's no balance. You there's know? no, yeah, there's no balance. There's no kind of... So, yeah, that's, I think, you know... And, and it, life is about balance. It yeah. really is. And this is what we tend to promote as health coaches, yeah. don't we? And, um, you know, so... Actually, I'm, I encourage mm. my clients sometimes to have a bad day. Yeah. You know? And because it's like, do it like on purpose. You know? Yes, do it on purpose oh. because having a bad day actually makes you feeling human, you know, and feeling exactly. that, you know, it's not about being fanatic about anything. Exactly. And when you have a bad day, you tend to appreciate much more the good days. Mm. So, for example, like what you and I have done, you know, over the weekend and yeah. stuff. Because if 80% of, of your lifestyle is quite healthy mm. and detoxifying and stuff, you realize actually how sensitive you are to unhealthy, toxic-based, you know, beverages and food, you know, in like back in the days and, you know, years ago, I used to be much more, you know, susceptible to alcohol, but mm. now, you know, two glasses and I'm down, baby. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm noticing the same thing for myself. So... We talk about, again, we, we're going to probably bring it up most weeks at the Institute for Integrative Nutrition where we were. We, you know, they told us about this 80-20 rule. So sometimes, you know, don't, you don't always have to be perfect. 20% of the time, let yourself do the non-perfect thing. Exactly. It's all about 80-20. Yeah, and no shame in our game. No shame in our game. <laughs> I don't know if you are, I'm not hearing you in my, when you're speaking over here. Really? But are you hearing I yourself? hear myself. Okay, all right, that's good. Then maybe that's just my... Is that first time now that's happening? That was the first time. No, is that first time that's happening to you now? Or were you not hearing me at all? I mean, it's hard because I'm hearing you speaking, so I don't, but I just noticed that towards the end that I wasn't hearing you in here. It's definitely this one, this one. These two microphones. Yeah, and that's, that's correct because that's yeah. number one. Yeah. Mm. And I hear you. You hear me and yeah. you hear yourself. Can we ask Jim just in case? About that I'm not yeah. hearing you here? Yeah, that he that you're not hearing me. Okay. The microphones are on in that. Okay. Okay. And maybe it's because More I'm technical stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's Is everything under control? But it's out there, it's fine. You, you, were you listening to her out there? Yeah. 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 So you can hear us? Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. It's just that I'm not hearing her when she's speaking into that microphone. But that's fine. Mm -hmm. I did turn this down because this was too loud, so maybe that was part of it. Right, great. No, everything's set correctly. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we've got, uh, you know, everything's good, everything's good, everything's great. Okay, so you're hearing it out there, yeah. you're hearing her. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe there's just something, with, she said last week that sometimes this headset is, like, doesn't it's work true. very well, so it's it's What's okay. next? Uh, well, next we're talking about, you're going to ask me about my experience. Yeah. Oh, no, you're talking about the effects of sugar from a nutrition perspective. Mm. That's what's next. Now we're getting serious. And we're only at 17 so far, so... Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I mean, Let me check the... We've got more to talk about? Yeah, we've got plenty. We can go a little bit longer on this on this segment. Yeah. Yeah. And the music has still more two minutes to go. Okay, so good. So Let me just look at any interaction that's going on. You know what I noticed? People are more interactive when you're on Facebook Live straight from your profile than sharing it. Mm. Uh, so far, I've got only one like since I've shared oh. it, and the other ones are much. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. 
We've got a lot of people getting, uh, 555 people have been reached. So let me look at On which one? On the Barcelona City FM. Then that's good. Yeah. Hi, everyone. <laughs> if, you're, if you're watching the live feed and you want to say hello, just comment in below or ask a question, say hello. We'd love to hear from you. <laughs> We've got music requests. I don't know if we can get it in today, but we can get it on a future episode. <laughs> so it's a it's very weird to speak here and then watch myself here. Very weird. <laughs> so, uh, is it closed? <laughs> You're right. There's only one of my friends on on um, my wall yeah. has liked my the live thing. I've only had two. From the second time I've shared, oh. but the one previously is much. Where we were in the, we were yeah. In the, yeah, I got them where there too. Yeah, you're right. So you're right. There's something about that. So it might be good for next time. We can try one. I think we need two. Yeah, two, we need two of phones. our phones and a laptop to share. There we go. Still figuring out all the social media how to best reach all of you. <laughs> how much time? Okay. So I need the conversation on shit. What is sugar actually doing in my body? When was the last time you were craving for sugar, Matthew? I, there's not usually a day that goes by that I don't have some kind of craving. What I've been doing recently is just some dark chocolate. Like almost 100%, like 90%, 85% dark chocolate, awesome. which has a pretty low sugar content. Yeah, it's, it's got its own sugar content, but the natural one and the beauty about the dark chocolate is that because it's, it's in such a pure form, you know, like you cannot eat a lot. Exactly. And you see the difference when you're buying just a normal milk or chocolate, for example, because it's a processed sugar and it's meant to make you addicted, you just want to eat more and more and more. It's funny that you say that literally yesterday I was at my friend's Mike and Tori, hey guys, I know that you guys just flew Hi, to London. Mike and Tori. Um, I was at their place and they were trying to get rid of their, their, you know, before they left they were having, they had some chocolate there for me and I took a little bite of the milk chocolate and then I had like three more bites after because it was, and when I have dark chocolate I have like one or two pieces and I'm done. Exactly, you wouldn't have that, would you? Nope. Mm, no. So let's get a bit more serious yeah. talking about the sugar. Yeah. What do you know about sugar? I mean, I know that we, I, my understanding is that the brain runs actually on glucose. So it's important that we, the body has some glucose to use to function. That, that's what I know. And I know it tastes good and it feels good and I like eating it. But that's, I don't know too much about the specifics. I know that also it's easier to get sugar out of carbohydrates than it is out of protein and fats. Mm -hmm. But it does, because I did the sugar detox, I, I learned that the body can go into some kind of ketosis phase mm -hmm. where it's getting sugar from fat and protein. That's the extent of my Yeah, knowledge. but it's a different type of sugar. It's not uh -huh. processed sugar. Okay. So basically, the real problem is the fructose. Uh -huh. Okay, so we've got glucose, sucrose, yeah. we've got the fructose. You know, these are all com components, like the, the son, the daughter of the sugar. Yeah. Family. Now, the, the fructose is the little evil okay. baby daughter. <laughs> yeah, oh, my gosh. Yes, she is. Wow. Because the fructose, um, basically what happens with the glucose, when we digest, mm -hmm. let's say, you know, um, sugar mm -hmm. like white uh, sugar that we take yeah, yeah, yeah. or yeah. even brown it even, brown sugar, yeah. okay. even the sugar in maple syrup in mm -hmm. honey you know mm -hmm. in in, in um, fruits as well yeah, yeah. We, we always have the fructose there okay and we have glucose as well now the so both there's both in there yes yes so okay. the glucose is always when it passes through our liver mm -hmm. right um, the insulin hormone gets released mm -hmm. Okay, that turns the you know the action of the insulin is uh, to turn the glucose into energy. So okay. it goes into our bloodstream and transfers us into energy, and we use that obviously to be able to perform throughout the day for all the different cells. Exactly. Okay. Now the fructose, um, the liver doesn't know what to do with the fructose. Oh. Uh, simply, it does not have. A system okay. of, of a mechanism uh -huh. to digest it or to turn it into something. So, when the liver gets into contact with the fructose, it freaks out. Now, fructose is occurs in nature. Yes, but it's just our human beings have not evolved really to deal with it very well. I guess seems. 
How do you mean exactly? Like in other words, glucose, the liver knows what to do with, but fructose, not so much. It, it just simply that part of the sugar, mm -hmm. that, that part of the sugar that the liver doesn't know how, how to, what, what usually the liver tends to do is because it cannot turn it into an energy. Mm -hmm. So quite often, not quite often, always, mm -hmm. it actually turns it into, stores it around the walls of the liver in a form of fat. Okay. Okay. So here's the problem. Okay, because the more you eat, you're not aware of what's happening within mm -hmm. your body, mm -hmm. you know, how, how bad this can be. Sure, sure. The more you eat, the more fat is being stored, you know. The Literally food, around my around, liver. Around the liver. Mm -hmm. And um, the more that happens, the less space there is for the glucose in mm, for the insulin to be, processed resistant to be processed and to be turned into an energy. Okay. So eventually it becomes suffocated. And this is where, you know, the, the first beginnings of, of type 2 diabetes. Yeah. This is why diabetic people need to take insulin shots. Yeah, because their, their body is no longer producing it. Producing it, exactly, because it's, it's suffocated with, yeah. with, with all this fat. Now, the problem is that it's not about the sugar that we know, guys, mm -hmm. because, you know, there's sugar in fruit. And, of course, if you eat it in the morning, you know, and you, you waste it throughout the day because you're mm -hmm. being active through mm -hmm. the day then that's healthy, that's good, and it's natural. Yes, there is fructose as well and mm. fruits as well, but... At a level that your body can do it. It's not processed at a level where the body can do it. Mm. You know, you're not overtaking it, mm. you know, and, um, uh, and basically abusing. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's, it's the sugar that we don't know. Because now, you know, when you look into the supermarket products on the shelves, you know, if you was to take away all the products that they contain added mm. sugar onto it, probably you will need to take about 80% of all the uh, products on the yeah. shelves and 20% will be left over with maybe no added sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These days the sugar is in, into ketchup, sure. into mayonnaise, different type of sauces. Yeah. Um, it's in everything. Why? Because back it tastes the, good. <laughs> it tastes good, but it was done on purposely, uh -huh. you know, by the big corporations, yeah. by the food corporations, uh -huh. for profit and for money sure. and for creating us addictive. Back yes. in the 1970s, there was a study done with rats, yeah. and they actually did confirm that sugar is even more addictive, or equally addictive as cocaine. Uh -huh. So our brain response is the same, you know. Yeah, because back in the day, before we had an industrial society. You, you were organized to try to find sugar because that was going to fuel you. It's the most, the fastest way to fuel you. So, if you, right? It's like you would, have want, you would have wanted back then to get some sugar. Well, back in the days, they believed, or the scientists were taught that the actual fat is the problem. I'm talking about before industrial. Like, I'm ah, talking right, about like okay. when we were out in the nature, you know? Right. Well, back in the nature, it wasn't so available. Yeah. It was available only in natural form. And, right. you know, because we were not so developed, you know, people had to hike or walk for long distances yes. until they find something, yeah. you know? So they're already in motion. They're being physically active, yes. you know? So it's not, now it's everywhere. Yes. Even, and, and you don't even know. Now mm. it's even in the milk you mm. know, that you drink. It's in the bread that yeah. you eat. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's absolutely everywhere. And people are not aware of this. Yeah. So, well, I got very aware of it recently. <laughs> yeah, tell me more about that. Yeah. And share your story because that was... I'll say a little bit about it now. We'll talk even more about it. Yeah, we will. Yeah. 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 But, I, but I, I really, you know, I, I was for the last six or seven weeks pretty much completely off sugar and I realized how hard it was to find things that didn't have sugar like when I was going to the food store to even just get like a yogurt or something or even a kefir because I wanted to have these pro probiotic things yeah. I couldn't even find probiotics that didn't have some sugar in them or like a, a yogurt that didn't have sugar added sugar you know and I know that we've talked about last week about there needs to be some sugar in these these foods to feed the, these um, organisms, the probiotics. To feed the, the bacteria, yeah. yeah, which I will cover about that yeah. a little bit okay. later. Well, so we'll, talk, sure. we'll yeah. talk more about Definitely. it. Definitely. Cool. Cool. That was my bad. I, I shouldn't have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, nice. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. Oh, now people are starting to, my friends are starting to like it. The shared one. <laughs> Hi guys, hope you're enjoying so far. Make sure you comment below. I want to hear what's happening with you with sugar. When's the last time you think you went a day without sugar? I'd love to know that. I don't think many people will go a day without sugar. It's very hard to do.
I love this song. At the moment I'm playing Banks and the name is Brain. Mm -hmm. That's such a good tune, you know. It's this is for I would say Sunday, rainy days, mm -hmm. you know, just chilling at home, yeah. you know, playing some music, put have some incense on and just mm -hmm. Having it loud on speaker because her voice is absolutely amazing. I don't know why I keep talking on the microphone when the microphones are off. I'm talking to you guys. I'm sorry. So this woman's name is Banks. Banks. Okay. Yeah, yeah you gotta check her out. All right. Yes. Yeah, well, I love the music when you when you sent it to me. But yeah. yes, yeah, I love it. Cool. All right. Good. It's very. It's really mm -hmm. weird because every time I do that, then I'm like, that's me five minutes, five seconds later, like doing the same thing. Very odd. Mm -hmm. The delay, like from there to yeah, your Facebook yeah. servers. It's a whole you learn about <laughs> this when you're when you're Facebook streaming over there, and then you're looking at your computer. <laughs> it's funny. So I don't know how many people have seen it. I don't know. Five hundred and thirty-eight, at least on one of them, and then there's a bunch of other ones we're sharing. Actually, a thousand more now. Oh, a bunch of people are commenting now. Cool. Now we can continue about the sugar. And your friend Catherine Garner is saying, well, hey, that's not the same. Oh, someone's reading that. Is that, that. On, on Bosnia was it different? Yeah, awesome. the, the main one. And he, my friend is saying, I'm reading a book just now, loving it. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> um, Hi, Catherine. <laughs> and what's up, Larock Star? Hi, Holly. <laughs> and my lovey, lovey dove, Shano Kelly. Hi, Boyana. <laughs> Say hi to Macedonia. <laughs> we all love you. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to ask you about my experience detoxing from the sugar, and then you'll share your detox protocol. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 30 days. So you're leading this one too, then we'll do a music break. Yeah. And then after that, I'll go into mine. Yeah. We still have plenty of time, but it's fine. fine. Yeah. Going smoothly. It's all going smoothly. I mean, it still some hiccups, but. Wow. Actually, a bunch of people liked. What has happened here? <laughs> um, I have to get the, the hang of this with Barcelona City FM. I actually put a post of him. I put a post of um, like uh, just without the video. I put that. And hey guys, in a minute, yeah. this guy's going to come and just yes. set up here. Okay, so we'll well, you can just put them down. Be careful. The second one, there's a laptop inside. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Guys. Hi. Is this the person that was in the picture with you? And when you were yeah, on? actually, yeah. we, there is a picture of us. Okay, yeah, I'm one. just That's recognize your face. Yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> so famous, James. <laughs> <laughs> you can put it in the, inside. You guys are not on air right now. You guys are not on air right now. No, we're no, no. still silent. Right. We will be in 30 seconds or right, less. Okay, good. Okay, love. Banks. Super yummy, huh? That song is hey. really relaxing. Yes, <laughs> yes. You can hear it in our voice. Yeah. And so, yeah. tell me more about it. So how long were you detoxing? So what happened? I got to Oakland, California with my sister Jolene and her husband Justin. Um, Hi, Jolene and Justin. <laughs> and they have a new baby named Jackson who's incredible. Hi, Jackson. <laughs> um, so I was there. I got there, I think, like April 25th. Like, within a couple of days, I, we cut out sugar from my diet. And I, I, since, from then until I got back here, till just before my birthday, basically, I think that's when I, because I had a couple of drinks at your birthday celebration. So, yeah, so for about, about almost two months, really, that is, actually. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. I could tell when you came back from USA, like, yeah. there was a change on your skin. A lot of people said that, actually. Yeah. There's another thing, guys, about sugar, you know, when you... After four weeks of um, abstaining, mm. you know, staying away from it, um, you start to notice um, changing in your skin. You know, your glow comes back, yeah. and uh, th there's a reduction uh, in wrinkles mm. because sugar ages you. Nobody likes wrinkles. Nobody likes wrinkles. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, it was it was incredible. It's it was very hard the first couple of weeks. It was like. 
not just it, it's really it was like not so much the craving for the sugar i mean I, I also felt out of it but it was like what do i actually eat like what what does not have sugar mm -hmm. and so it was like and, yeah. I, and I, I think if you have enough passion you yeah. know like to 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 continue yeah. on, on that journey then that that's when a new door opens up of, of, of discovery and research and learning new foods and trying to cook different foods you know, exactly about that they're not sugar-based foods exactly so that's the beauty about it you know I love when my clients go through that transition yeah actually one of mine now she she's this is her third week of staying away mm. from sugar from gluten we're doing congratulations a, whoever you are we don't take about the names because it's private but yes exactly they're congratulations clients. congratulations yes. Um, I hope she's listening. Yes. And uh, yesterday we had our, um, you know, revision session, yes. like a health coaching session, and she was glowing. You know, like yeah. her face has cleared up so much, and yeah. it just makes me happy. You know, these are the moments I live for. You yes. know, when I really do see that that the change is taking yep. place. So, um, guys, if you're interested, um, you know, to learn more about sugar and um, go on an, an elimination diet or sugar detox. I do provide programs, um, one month of a uh, total sugar okay. detox, you know, where I will be, you know, you will have my 100%, you know, professionalism and support, you know, and Perfect. holding you account accountable for while you're on that journey. Yeah. And uh, we will obviously see the effects from day one until the last day, you know, what, what change can it make? And it really can, this is a kickstart to to uh, a journey to a new health. It's a big deal, man. I really, I, I yeah. would say, to you, if you've never done, you probably haven't gone a day without sugar since you were a child. I mean, I, I, when I, had, it's like, you know, it's one of the first things you get in your mouth when you are off breast milk or whatever is the formula that you're taking mm -hmm. is fruits. And so from then on, I think it's pretty much every day. So it's not a small thing to do. And it's affecting ch children's behavior. Yeah. You know, of because course. basically, you know, it's like you're high, mm. you know, you're high on sugar, you eat some chocolates, and you see the kids like crazy running around everywhere, yeah. you know, and then they experience that low. Yeah. So then you're craving again for more because you want that high again. So it really is addictive. And not even just chocolate, like in their cereal or in like any kind of other Ooh, snack. Yogurts, yeah. you know, any yeah. type of yogurt. Right now, like for example, if you look at all the fruit yogurts, you know, yeah. they're not natural fruit, it's like fruit based yogurt, you know, but, you know, they probably put jam with sugar on top of it and again we're not being fanatical we're not saying no one should ever eat sugar we just had that conversation about you know bad and good. Uh, of course yeah. you know it's okay to have the yeah. occasional cheesecake if that's what yeah. you want or carrot cake you know i love it you know what i'm saying is finding that balance what i'm saying is that you know consciously making choices what i'm saying is that you know establishing that relationship with your body yes. and really listening to what your body needs and what your body wants you know and also listening um you know the effects of, of like for example when you're detoxing yourself you know you will go through a lot of emotional oh, yeah. and mental processes so it's amazing to see you know yeah there's like no buffer to the emotional or like you know exactly really like exactly that. so i i really i highly recommend it you know not just to promote myself you know as a coach and to promote my my my, my program of course mm -hmm. you know i I'd, I'd, it's because i want to help people yes and you know how to do it and i know how to yeah. do it when it comes to that so you can always find me on uh, vesnagino.com through my website nice. um, or just to, through to Facebook, you know, or send me an email on vesna at uh, vesnagino.com. Perfect. Thanks, yeah. Vesna. You're welcome. the music can't really hear it and missed when she said the name Shannon hmm. who said that Shannon of Healy oh she couldn't hear the music and then what else um where did she write this on, on Barcelona City FM really? yeah like she, a separate message Shannon can you hear the music Shani oh yeah if you're on the Facebook live you're not going to hear the music you to hear the music you would need to be on Barcelona City FM because specifically on Facebook, you can't hear the music. Hmm. If that's what you're wondering. Oh. Yeah. Oh, here's, yeah, I see what she said there. I 
think she replied. Okay. I'll call him and respond to her as well. I guess, I mean, when the music's on, you guys can have a bathroom break, go have something without sugar. <laughs> um, so next is me talking about the honor bomb and talking about the of my philosophy for the five-week free email course, newsletter sign up. I'm just going to talk about... Do you want to divide it into two parts? Because it's 38. So there's that, then there's what we'll be up to this week, and that's it. So, so that's why if you want to divide your part twice and two times, so we have more music. Yeah, we can. We can do that. So yeah, if, if that would, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, just play it. Cool. Yeah, when you when you yeah. to, yeah. cool. I'm just gonna talk basically about how it's not just about the sugar; it's about the emotional stuff, which Vesna also knows, and about how you're thinking and how you yeah. put yourself and all that stuff. Cool. Wow. If you're watching on the live stream, the music this week is really amazing. We'll put the show up on Mixcloud afterwards, so I recommend you go and check out the songs. They're really good. Barcelona City FM 107.3 Zest for Life Barcelona mm. Welcome back guys Another nice relaxing one You can tell, you can tell in our voices every time I <laughs> we're, And if you're watching on Facebook Live You're not hearing the music But the music is super sultry and yummy and relaxing and so Yes, I that's think a, the next one is going to be a bit Okay, we're going to take it up a notch Well, we need to Okay, come. let's do it It's yeah, Wednesday, right? Yeah, we, let's we, shake We, we can't have people falling bit. asleep in their cars in Barcelona <laughs> Causing accidents <laughs> no, so, no, no. Yeah, I wanted to, like, you know, we just talked a lot about sugar and the, the actual what's going on in the body and the nutrition and my detox experience. And I want people to understand, and Vesna also knows this, especially from the emotional perspective, because she works with people with their emotions and their gut health, that we understand that, you know, it's, it's not just about not eating sugar. Like, a lot of times, people are eating sugar because they're dealing with some emotional stuff, or they have some, you know, stressful situation at work or in a relationship, or... They're just not satisfied in their life. They're not empowered or inspired about what they're up to. And so I just... Or they haven't been laid. Yeah, also there's this. <laughs> they're making this some sex. Like so you. there's all kinds. There's all you kinds. You to crave for sugar. It can know? happen like this. Yeah. So I, I, and so that was... what When I wrote my book, The Secrets of Conscious Living, which you can get on Amazon.com, <laughs> The Secrets of Conscious Check Living, Accessing the Energy... It's not about getting laid, by the way. No, no, it's not. It, no, it, it's not specifically about that. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, I, I write about these concepts about making sure you develop a relationship, not just with your body, but with your emotional landscape, with your thinking, the quality of your thinking and with what your purpose is in life. And so I talk about all those things in the book. Mm -hmm. And when we coach people, either Vesna or I, we, we're touching on these things as well. And that what are called primary foods, which is, again, what integrated nutrition would, would call that. Shall we read and state them? What are they? Primary foods, there's yeah. so many of them. But yes, spirituality, relationships, yeah. what else? Personal relationships, career choice, financial physical health, activity. all yes. these things. Yeah, yeah so I, I write about this also in the book. And then if you sign up for my newsletter, if you go to www. I don't know, I don't have to say that anymore. Awellworld.com. <laughs> if you go to awellworld.com and go to the upper right, there's a there's a sign up for my newsletter. When you do that, then you'll get five free emails from me that, that kind of educate you to and give you some practical tools for how to engage with these, what I call energy magnifiers. Oh, really? Sounds exciting. Yeah. I think I'm going to join your well, you newsletter. you could actually do yeah, that. Yeah, I yes. should do that. <laughs> oh. <sighs> the time goes so, I don't understand how fast the time goes. It's crazy. That's crazy. Easy. This is why I like it. Yeah, I think good. two hours would be a bit too much. That's a lot. Yeah, it would be a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. 
you're right. So you continue after. Yeah, so I'll say a bit more about the Friedman Law course. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I can even talk a little bit more about how the book works and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. And then we'll do one more music and then we'll do the what are you up to this week. Mm -hmm. 1,500 people now reached on the live stream. Oh, so. oh. hi, everybody. Mm -hmm. do, do, Join do. me for Sugar Detox. Oh, yes. We're always welcoming you. Join enjoys. him for a five week free course. Free email course. It's got all yeah. these exercises in it, like just practical exercises you can use during the day to engage with your body, to engage with your emotions, to engage with your, the quality of your thinking, and to engage with, you know, how, how to connect with your purpose and why you're here. You know, when you're, those things are handled, you're going to find you're eating healthily, you're exercising the way you need to be. And yeah, because it's all interlinked, you know, like one can't, can't go without the other. You cannot just not eat sugar, you know, and uh, yeah. um, if you're still being happy in your environment where you live with your partner or at work, whatever, you know, it's still going to affect you. Exactly. You know? It might actually give you even more stronger effect, you know, like contra effect. Exactly. Of, of, of like, um, eating more than you're supposed to be. See that? We yeah. don't want that. So, yeah. So, yeah. That's it. We're going to talk more about it when we come back from the music break. I'm loving the songs, and it's a shame that you guys can't hear them on yeah. Facebook Live, but, you know, we have to follow guidelines. Yeah. But I keep on watching myself. I'm dancing. It reminds me of that. Um, you, you've heard of that sentence. Um, those who danced were thought to be in, uh, insane by those who couldn't hear the music. Mm, which is a meta It's metaphor. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, that's what we're going to talk about super sessions after. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a perfect segue. Yeah, so exactly. <laughs> we're, yeah, we'll talk about it when we get back on the air about what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Actually, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah it's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow at 8.15. That's right. It's going to be fun. Any new questions? No. New, uh, no, just comments. Comments by people. Lots of likes, but no comments. So I guess we are clear now with Shannon. Yeah, yeah, she's soon sent it. Hi, Elena. <laughs> Hello, Elena. <laughs> so, speaking about your program, Five yeah. Weeks program, anything else that you would like to add on? Just that now? if you're listening right now and there's anything that is at all resonating for you and what we're speaking about, just go to awellworld.com and sign up for the newsletter. It's not going to hurt you. And you just get an email once a week for five weeks that have practical tools for connecting to your body, to your emotions, to your mind, and to your higher purpose in life. And, uh, you know, I actually, it, when you do that, there's also a private Facebook group that if you, um, if I know that you've signed up for the newsletter, I invite you there, and I'm there hanging out, answering questions, sharing things that I know about. I just really want to, you know, I just, it's, I'm passionate about, obviously I wrote a book, like I have quite a bit of passion about talking about this stuff. So I invite you, if you're interested, to engage with me more to go to my website, sign up for the newsletter, and we'll take it from there. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. That's it. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah, that's really that's really what I want to say about that. There's not much more for me to say other than it starts there with signing up. Okay. <laughs> and it's and free. Would you like to talk anything about your other practices or anything else? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, so I don't know if I mentioned, I think I mentioned this on the air, that I'm currently in training as a meditation teacher. Oh, so yeah. I'm doing a 300-hour um, training course to teach meditation. I've already been uh, like doing it on the side with friends and, and with uh, students of mine at the nutrition school, so I've gotten a lot of practice with it already. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's, you know, that's something that I offer people. And as I spoke about last week on the show, the somatic integration work, which is currently evolving, I'm also masterful in that. So it, I include that in my coaching with people so to help them it's not just a conversation that's, um, you know, verbal. We, we talk, we get them into their bodies, 
And there's also this meditation piece too. So it's a called embodied wisdom coaching. Embodied wisdom yeah. coaching. Isn't that interesting? Sounds sexy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's get you all embodied and wise. You're feeling good. Um, so there's one more song, and then we're just going into what we're doing this week. Uh, stretching. <laughs> stretching. Uh, a little bit of yoga. I'm loving the music. I hope you guys like the Superman. This is. I wore this particularly for... I actually, you know, I didn't want to say this on the, the air. Superman. <laughs> I didn't want to say this on the that. air because... What I noticed is that what, you know, what America now is so much more known for are our brands and our culture that we, we export. So like to wear the flag anymore, is like I'd rather wear Superman because he kind of represents the ideals and values that I, that I associate with America. And the flag is a bit more complicated now because we do things sometimes that people in the world don't exactly agree with. But the values that we infuse through Superman, someone like a Superman, I think is, is worthy of following. So... I feel like I'm a crazy woman, you know, like they, I'm just dancing, they can't hear anything. I think I'm just going to give them a little taste. And then hopefully it doesn't get... It gave you a little taste, but Facebook gets really angry if we play too much music, so you have to be careful with that. <laughs> Thanks. That was dangerous. That was good to be bad. bad. Good to be bad. Good to be bad. There you go. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, so then it's just, yeah, that's it. So we'll do a short combo and then the music out. And who's coming up next? Well, there's 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this song will end in how many minutes? Mm. Another three. So we can have like six minutes conversation about what we're up to this mm, week. That's quite long. Or five minutes. Shall I put another song after this? Um, how much more time to this minutes? No, like we talk, and then if we have to play two songs on the way out, we can and we say goodbye in between them. Yeah, cool. Like that, right? And that's good. Mm -hmm. On the fly, working it out. Okay, why is sometimes it load like this? What? No, like the, the page doesn't load like sometimes, and I can't see it. I don't know. <coughs> Who knows? <laughs> Hi, Ken. I just saw my friend Ken. Who, Hi, Ken. Who's Ken? Ken Kreese. Who is Ken? Good friend of mine that oh, I met in Reminds New York. Reminds me of Ken and Barbie. No, I'm not going to be Barbie in that relationship. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Ken, sorry. <laughs> Ken is currently living in Switzerland. He's from Scotland originally. And we met in New York when we worked together there. So, so yeah. a Scottish guy. Yeah. He's got a nice Scot. What is it called? A brogue? A Scottish yeah. brogue. Do you have that skirt? You wear them? No, brogue is like the way to speak. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> You're talking about, what is that called? It's, it's not a skirt, it's called a kilt. Ah, yeah, the kilt. kilt. Yes. What about the high knee socks? They're <sighs> quite sexy. I have not yet seen Ken in high knee socks. And I kind of hope I don't have to see Ken, it. send us a picture, please. <laughs> yeah, you can post it in the, under the live feed. <laughs> good to have you, man. Good to have you on the board. Yeah. Sorry, Ken, don't take it personal because um, I don't even know you. Yeah, so it's yeah. all good. Just, <laughs> can be any Ken. Yeah, these are just the. the, the what people think about Scottish people, it's quite sad. Oh, um, come on, why is it so sad? It's know. funny, it it's funny. cute, you know? I, I think you guys look cute, you know? I don't know if he's ever played the, what is it, that he play the, um, the accordion? No? What is it? No, no idea. It's like an instrument, uh, like can harmonica. You, if you're hearing me post, what is the, the thing that's, there's a musical instrument that, oh, bagpipes, bagpipes, that's Bag it. That's uh, what it is. Uh, I don't know, that's different. Yeah. Exactly. Hey. So cool, cool, cool. Yeah. We've got one more quick conversation that we're having. Perfect, to. perfect. Yeah. It gives a cue when you're going to go yeah, live. Yeah. What Let's can we say about what you guys are going to be up to? You want us to promo what you're going to be doing? Sure. What, what are you going to be doing? Uh, um, a mixture between organic and electronic music. Okay. Yeah. Organic, certified organic? Certified, mm -hmm. certified. So I'm gonna say that. So it's perfect. That's right up the street. That's exactly <laughs> what we're talking about. Perfect. Okay. I'll see how the cables. Yeah, I'll give you a little control of that. Okay. Give me your key. If you can find the answer, how the cables are doing the other side of the desk. Okay. Zest for Live Barcelona on 107.3 FM. Welcome back, guys. We are nearly the, at the end of our show. And we say it every week, it goes so fast, but we're excited to be with you for the last few minutes. It really does. 
that's going to fire, but does. I quite like it. Yeah, it's just, all good. Just right, you know? Perfect. So, Vesta, what are you up to this week? Let the listeners know. Well, you know, after listening to my own tunes, you know, I feel like partying, <laughs> being bad again. Uh, well, it's summertime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's easy to just, you know, I convince myself I'm just a human. Yeah, I'm a of big course. Girl. No, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But I know what, exactly what I'm doing tomorrow, which Me you too. and I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Suco Sessions. Suco Sessions here. They they're yeah. actually operate all over Europe, right? But they're here in Barcelona this, yes. this week. Yes, yes. Originally, it began in South Africa, and mm. I think they have like over 700 members now Fantastic. over there. And the idea is to to spread this movement worldwide. And um, I'm actually doing some collaborations with yeah. them, and I'm really excited. They're a great team, great people. I really like their energy. Tomorrow is the sunset session, yeah. which is going to take place at Arc du Triomphe inside Park 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 Day, yeah, okay. Yeah, and it begins at 8.15 with yoga, yeah. and then we continue with the headphones and the dance. Yeah, so they, what you do is, you, you probably heard about these flash mob kind of things where you put the headphones on, so people that are not with the headphones don't hear what's going on, but those with the headphones listen to music. And there's also some kind of exercise they're thinking about introducing this time. I was talking to Sherry, and she was saying... What did you say? Something about like physical movement as well, like actual exercise. Um, well, I think that was part mm -hmm. part of it. Um, the 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 physical movement. Okay. Um, it's like a bit of a stretching okay. and getting into your element, and then you run around, and you just basically you let loose. You know, the idea is to feel completely free. I love it. You know, I well, come it. find out more, guys. We're gonna be there from what time? Eight fifteen. Eight fifteen p.m. tomorrow at the Arc de Triomphe. Yeah, yeah. Today, yeah, if you haven't purchased your tickets yet, you know, you can go to sucosessions.com okay. and purchase them online. It's 15 euros, or probably you will be able to when you get Sh there. Cheryl on the spot. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, we will be giving away as well. I forgot to tell you that oh. a, a home in, um, infused waters. Oh, okay, good. There. So there'll be water there for people. Yes, free. I will, I will be preparing it. Oh, that's really yes, nice. Free. Fantastic. With some zest inside. Okay, good. A little bit of zest for life. Of course. Fantastic. And then I'm also going to be going to a beach outside of Barcelona this this week for sure because I've got an agreement. Have you decided to which one? Not which one yet. Maybe Mangat. I haven't been to Mangat yet. Ah, you should go. North to on yeah. the coast of Bravo. Yeah, it's nice. I so, love Mangat. Yeah. Guys, we're about to finish our show. We thank you for listening to us and being with us. And stay tuned. There's some kind of mix of organic and electronic music coming up. They're setting up right now in the studio. It sounds interesting. I think it's certified organic music. Certified organic music. <laughs> I like that. So stay tuned. <laughs> yes, and uh, see you next Wednesday. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find us. Yeah. We do love you. Um, and namaste. Namaste. Sadnam. Ciao. This is a bad, isn't it? Alright. Some celebrating. I don't like that, it's a bit stiff, isn't it? Yeah. Shit. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. But yeah, hi. Oh, well. <laughs>